This is an awesome custom ROM for Redmi Note 10 Pro. I would like to say it's the beast of all the custom ROMs until right now in the terms of smoothness and performance. So if you are new to my channel then please consider to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. So let's get started with the ROM review. So guys this is the latest Pixel Extended build over the Redmi Note 10 Pro for Android 13 and if you guys see this, this is working as smooth as 144 Hz. I know it's not 144 Hz display, it's 120 Hz, but smoothness kills that. And guys, please watch this video in 1080p 50 FPS for better experience. So guys, if you can see this, it is running on Android 13, which is purely working all around. And you got the, all the beautiful Easter egg all around. I love to see the Android 13 Easter egg. It's so beautiful. Here you got the extended version 5.2. And the maintainer Aditya, thanks Aditya for maintaining this room, who would really love to talk to you. Android security updates is 5th November and the base build version here it is given. Here you get the kernel version of Sleepy and the build number is TDA.221005.0. for the suite. After that, here is isn't anything given. After that, let me help you out with the network and internet setting. I am using with my primary sim so you can see this it's my user I'm using with my primary sim card and haven't faced any issues I've used this device as my primary device and I did run much benchmarks and use my as my personal daily driver and guys apart from that you get the default tabs here you got the pixel launcher with no customizations at all so be ready for no customizations at all and if you guys want to get Android 13 based NX camera video on this channel then please comment down for redmi note 10 pro after that you get the pe extension here you get an option of quick pull down everything is normal customization nothing has been changed everything in this customization settings working fine in the lock screen you get the charging info animation and the double tap options does works fine all around pulse you get and you get the under display fun fingerprint customization this doesn't work because if you click that it gets cracked cracked or what do you say uh, whole system UI not doesn't re respond so it doesn't work and screen of FOD does also not work because there is no fingerprint scanner present in the on the screen itself you get the power app volume control and the fingerprint options does vibration does works fine apart from that battery so battery is the killer in this room I'm using the battery with the two days and you can see that I'm used UD for one hour, Netflix for two hours, and my battle idled. You can see that screen on time. I'm using this phone as a my personal usage, so you can see this. Adaptive button preference is also given, so no issues. Battery usage I already told you. <laughs> Apart from that storage, I won't put money apps, but in the display options you get the adaptive brightness option too, and this just works fine around. Lock screen option you get the ambient display with the always on availability and yeah always on does works no issues with that also so always on I don't use my battery usage doesn't comes in the always on so be aware of that also dark theme is working and the dark theme is pure dark theme no any pitch black or grayish scale it's totally a dark theme but I don't use now dark theme smooth display option is also been there 60 and 120 hertz so it's working all around fine and every setting is does working in the wallpaper and style you get the much android 13 color palette options you can see that if i just change to the green you can see that it gets changed and over that it also gets changed so upgrade you get the minimum upgrades not much of the map upgrade and i don't like those things also and yeah the security you get the fingerprint and face unlock both you can see this so yeah no issues about for that in the system options you get the thermal profiles all the benchmark that i took is from the benchmark is from the benchmark profiles of the thermal profiles no updated has been given up there so yeah and i told all about this the ui opening closing happening speed everything does not shutter or lag you can see this i'm opening spotify netflix everything does open quite fine no lag and shutter in the qs and the location is pretty visible and 
there is a uh, any of the issues i have used this device at my own so first of all i start from the benchmarks and let me see you the screenshots this is the cpu throttling test without any performance thermal profiles so you get the 89% of max performance with the 153 of max gips it's been run for 15 minutes you can see this after that here is the safety net test status it's pass so no issues and the device certification issue if you are seeing that device is certified no issues for that also this is the l1 security level of the netflix so you are able to get the l1 and stream full hd actually i have checking also the previous uh, i want to give that previous video but i don't give the, that video because that build is so old and it is having the hdr capabilities in this netflix this is the wildlife stress test and you can see that scores are amazing get the stability of 99.4 percent and this is slingshot test with the 3773 results with the fps is 52.50 and 31.10 and here's a single core score of 497 and 1435 and the compute score of geekbench which is 1308 so it's nice this is a storage speed test of the Android 2 and it does performs very good after that this is the two 36200 it is a downgrade score i don't like that score but yeah scores doesn't give the real performance and now this time i want to tell about some bugs or whatsoever that i have encountered in this room like not as any bugs i found and you got the dolby atmos support also and the sound quality when you use your earphones not the wireless ones but if you use the earphones you get all the things i watched the movie with dynamic mode also in the movie mode also it is damn cool so guys use that also if you're using this room and if you're watching the video then like because like matters after that everything does fine i would highly recommend this room to anyone out there because it does performs well no issues that i have found in the my three to four days of usage the battery is working also fine and everything does fine the installation steps would be similar go to twrp Select this ROM zip, flash it, format data, and you are good to go. So, guys, I'm. So, guys, that that's for right now. And if you really like the video, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can join my Telegram channel for more info. Then, leave me alone. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.